Hi, I'm Carl with Bear Arms Gun Range, and we're back for this week's pro tip. We're talking about lead exposure and personal hygiene while shooting on the range. Alright guys, so let me get out of this hazmat gear so you can hear me a little bit better and I'll be a little bit more comfortable. Alright, so if you didn't hear me with all that get up on, today we're talking about personal hygiene while on the range. Specifically, we're going to be talking about lead exposure. Now if you didn't know, bullets themselves are made out of lead. There's also trace amounts of lead in the primers sometimes of cartridges and all that stuff combined increases for a slight exposure risk that we take every time we are handling, loading, unloading, or shooting any firearms on the range. So if you didn't know, again, lead is an extreme neurotoxin that we do not want in our body lead is bad we don't want it so we're going to jump into precautionary measures that you can take before during and after your shooting experience on the range let's take a look okay getting back into it a couple precautionary measures to take before our shooting visit on our range time all that experience maybe you like to load your magazines before you head to the range. It's a great idea. It saves you valuable training time on the range. But what we have to realize is anytime you touch a piece of ammunition, you are exposing yourself to little, little tiny trace amounts of lead. And say you're one of those guys who likes to load up their magazines, get in the car, head to the range, but on your way, you might stop at McDonald's and get a Whopper or whatever. From there, you didn't realize all those trace amounts of lead are on your hands, and now you're putting them on your, your Big Mac, and you're putting that in your mouth. And, and that's one of the big ways that we introduce lead into our system is by ingesting it. So we do not want to lick lead. So think about that anytime you're loading magazines ahead of time, make sure you wash your hands really well. I like to use these uh, D lead wipes. Um, they're, they're super handy. I keep them in my pocket, keep them in my range bag. Anytime I'm handling uh, ammunition, I always make sure to wipe my fingertips really good after doing so. Next, when you're on the range during the shooting experience, um, you are also exposing yourself to trace leads in the air um, just from gases expelled from the firearm as we're shooting also have lead in them. There's not a whole lot we can do about that unless you choose to wear a mask while you're, while you're shooting on the range. Personally, I don't do that, um, but it's not a bad idea if it's a main concern of yours. Another way that we're exposed to lead on the range while we're shooting is things we touch. Uh, the, the, the shooting bench, the range bench, the floor, all these things have or have the potential of having trace lead on these surfaces. So anything we touch, uh, make sure that we're cleaning. Again, you can use your D-lead wipes or just wash your hands really good. Um, one thing I urge folks to be aware of I know a lot of people like to reload their own ammunition. So when you're done shooting, if you're one of those people that like to collect all your spent cartridge cases, your pieces of brass all over the ground, that is another way that we are exposing ourselves to trace amounts of lead. It's okay to do that, so pick up your brass if that's what you want. If you want to take that home, just know that that also has lead on it and make sure we clean our hands really well. I have collected brass and but I try to keep them in like a Ziploc bag or something like that to keep that exposure to a minimum. Now when you're done shooting, say you picked up all your brass and you're, you're getting ready to leave, uh, we actually have sticky mats 
on the floor outside the door of each of our ranges and then a final one before entering back into the store. If you didn't know, these sticky mats are designed to remove any lead or dirt or funk from the bottoms of your shoes so you're not tracking that around and taking it home with you. Hopefully you're heading right to the bathroom to wash your hands real good when you're done. And then when you get home, you might say, ah, now I really need to clean my gun. This is another way that we expose ourselves to lead after the shooting experience. So I always make sure um, I have a designated gun area. This means I'm not cleaning my guns on the kitchen table. All right, so I have a designated work area i only use that for the most part for cleaning firearms i also make sure that i wear gloves all right and i'm not licking my guns all right again we don't want to ingest any of that so wear gloves wash up real good when you're done cleaning your firearms hopefully you're not doing it on the kitchen table you have a designated area to do that all right i believe that covers most of the topics that we're gonna talk about today, during, before, and after the shooting experience. We want to minimize our lead exposure. All right, guys, I hope you learned some good information in our video today. If you have any personal concerns about your own lead exposure, contact your primary care physician. A simple test can be done to determine how much lead is in your body. When you come on down to the range, we encourage all of our customers to head over to Bombshell's restaurant right next door before shooting on the range to cut down on that lead exposure. All right, we also have a apparel company, links right over here. Check it out, get yourself some cool shirts and hats and all that good stuff. And then if you need a holster made, Check out this link right over here, Bear Arms Holsters. We custom make them to order, pretty quick turnaround time too. That's it for today. If you're enjoying everything, go ahead, like, subscribe to our channel, hit the bell icon. That's it for today. We'll see you next time.